Welcome to section four, geospatial processing with raster package and machine learning. In this section, we'll get some hands-on experience with remote sensing data, a machine learning algorithm. We will start with data query for a city of your choice, processing it and proceed with supervised classification of the city's land cover types. We will analyze the classified result in R and provide a professional map as our end product. Let's start with video one, Lensa Data Query and Processing in QGIS. We will be using the semi-automatic classification package throughout the data query and classification processes. It is freely available in QGIS. So what's the difference between the two classification methods? Supervised classification requires the user to manually select training classes for the classification, while the machine detects different classes based on spectral property for the unsupervised classification. So let's delve in our project. We will be integrating GIS to remote sensing. We'll start with the satellite image from Landsat 8 sensor, shown in the upper corner, and then we'll end up with a result that looks like the bottom right, which is classified into different land cover categories. Let's open up QGIS 3.4. We will start with installing the SCP plugin. We can search for the semi-automatic classification plugin, click install. After it's downloaded, you will be able to see its panel on your bottom left corner of the screen called the SCP doc. Let's open up a new project and click the semi-automatic classification plugin icon. We'll first download the satellite image. Hit download. You need to specify your login data, which requires you to have either a USGS or NASA account. Register for free first. We will select only the Landsat bands that are needed for this classification, which is 2 to 7. Input the coordinates of your desired region. For here, I put the boundaries of Metro Vancouver for my study area. We will select Landsat 8 products. Specify the date range. You can also specify the cloud cover. We don't want a lot of cloud cover as in that way, we won't be able to see the ground and hit find. We can add OpenStreetMap layer to our view and then later view our study area on the world map. Now you can see it here. We'll accept all the defaults and hit run to download the satellite data set into our local directory. We can look at our layers once they're downloaded and loaded into our QGIS environment. We will first crop out a smaller study area from the larger range of the downloaded data. So we'll input all the band sets that are available in our environment. Then go to pre-processing. We can select a certain number of bands for better viewing result, which will facilitate selecting the region on the map. We can select an area by using the mouse. Left click for the upper range and right click for the lower range. And that is my smaller area. If you're happy with the result, hit run and select a folder to save the results. The clip results will be shown in your environment titled clip underscore reflectance. Now you can remove all the original data layers and just retain the clip results in your environment. We will then add the clip band sets to our selection and define the wavelength range for specifically the Landsat 8 bands. From here, the machine will be able to recognize different wave bands attached with each layer loaded in, and you're able to have different band combinations for false color images 
that are necessary for our classification steps. You will see it here. By resetting the RGB, this is the true color composition, and 432 would yield a different result for the false color composition. At the end, we will save all the current process in our local folder. 